The Oklahoma State Cowboys are in uncharted territory. Never in the 109-year history of the program have the Cowboys started a season ranked in the top 10 of the Associated Press poll. Never in the 55-year history of Sports Illustrated magazine has any OSU Cowboy graced the cover. And never before has the OSU Athletic Department sold more than 40,000 season tickets for football. Needless to say, the expectations for this year's Cowboy football team are higher than they've ever been. Despite the high praise, Cowboy players want more. It feels great, but we can't just uh, harp on that. we got to try for to be better. Um, because any given time, that number 11 go up to uh, number 25 and then out of the uh, pole. So we can't just strive on being number 11. we got to work even harder. You know, we feel pretty good about it, and we'll come out and uh, win some games and get back where we're supposed to be at. I wouldn't say that's where it belongs because I feel like, you know, we can, we can get better and we can do better, but we'll accept where we're at. Head coach Mike Gundy says he knows how badly his players want to go a step further than they went last year, but he also knows how tough it is to take that step. It's important that, uh, that we're up front with them when we say, look, this is where you're at. I mean, you've worked hard. You started this four years ago, and you wanted to get to this level, and it's extremely difficult to get here, and it's even more difficult to pass the next six or eight teams and then it's even more difficult to stay here consistently. As for the pressure of being a top 10 team, the Cowboys aren't feeling it. We had our own expectations anyway, so I mean, our, we have high expectations for our team, so it, it, really, it really shouldn't change anything. It doesn't really change anything. It just make, a work, make us work hard. Uh, summer workouts, practice, we just going hard now, trying to uh, prove that we are uh, where, we des where we at right now, and we, and we deserve it. I just think we deserve it because we worked hard to get here. And we're going to work hard to stay here. And if there isn't enough pressure on the team from the ordinary fans, the Cowboys are looking to justify billionaire booster T. Boone Pickens' investment as well. Gundy says the new facilities have played a significant role in getting OSU to where it is today. It's been an attraction for uh, recruits in a regional area to want to come and see the facility. I think the majority of them have an interest in this, but there are some that uh, had a very little interest in Oklahoma State and wanted to come see the facility. And then when they leave here, they have an interest. It's hard not to. And so uh, it's helped us for the first time. With more than 40,000 season tickets already sold, the fans are making Pickens' donation worthwhile as well. When Georgia comes to town on September 5th, the brand new West End Zone will be packed full of Cowboy fans with high expectations for the season. I'm Gideon Thompson reporting.